for any of you guys who might be looking to send me a PM or a comment asking about you know what some of my equipment are just to show you real quick this is a buck saw from LL Bean it's actually um, sold by them it's called the blazer saw and if you google that you'll find a Canadian company that makes it and I've seen in the uh, previous video that it all folds up into the big tube it's relatively light it doesn't come in this color um, which is like a flat forest green it actually comes in a brushed aluminum and I, I really didn't like that so and I like customizing things of my own so um, I bought some paint and put a few coats on it uh, it's a good saw it goes right up underneath my my pack and uh, hardly puts on any extra weight. It's nice to have. Cuts firewood real good as you saw in my previous video. Um, the forest axe that you see here is actually brand new. I got it on a super deal uh, from OutdoorPros.com. It's actually a cold steel. Uh, they call it the Trail Boss. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm not usually a, a cold steel person because um, they do a lot of outsourcing for their uh, for their steel and pretty much everything that they make comes from the Far East but the uh, axe itself was only twenty seven dollars so I figured why not uh, when you get it it doesn't look like this I've actually uh, take, taken off the, the uh, varnish finish and I've stained it for a little bit darker because I like the darker color I like to modify everything I have just because it you know it's, it's fun and it kills time um, the head actually was painted black right up to here and this was all covered with their logo which is still on here but I guarantee the, the camera's not going to pick it up so I sat and finished it with a low polish and um, I just think that looks nicer and I can't wait for the patina to, to take on um, actually it's not too bad uh, you're definitely getting more than your 27 bucks worth um, the camera can't pick it up but as I was sanding down the head and oiling it there is a temper line which I was surprised to see on a product like that um, however it had no edge when I got it which was was rather disappointing considering the amount of time I had to uh, put in to get at least a halfway decent edge and I'm still not there but as you saw in the cutting task in the previous video it performed fairly well so for you know 27 bucks like 32 with the shipping and it was at my place um, it's held up pretty well so I, re I guess I really can't complain um, not the greatest not the worst but hey worth a shot and it's always nice to have an extra axe around so that's some of my stuff thanks guys